Rachmaninoff. Uh, some people say that Rachmaninoff's best uh, artistic efforts were his song literature. Uh, I don't know. I have no love this symphony number two myself. And one of the amazing things is that this uh, this next uh, Russian art song is entitled "Zeskora Show," loosely translates to "This place is beautiful." Uh, it, when Rachmaninoff wrote his second symphony, he had had the crisis of writing the first one, it was an utter failure, and he swore off writing symphonies. But he was so moved after attending a performance of Die Meister Singer von Nuremberg in uh, Dresden that he said, I know what I'm going to write my, my second symphony about. It's going to be about Dresden, and I don't think that it's a coincidence that this place is here and the symphony that's written about Dresden sounds very similar to one another. The reason I say this is because the introduction for this fashions in some of the second symphony. So if you were, your earworm is happening and you start to hear some of that second symphony, you're not crazy. And Rock on Rock wasn't crazy. We just tied it to him. <laughs>
is that man singing up to the stars, saying, boy, if I could just pull the stars, if I could have the stars, I could have her. And so I love it. It's called Esplanade Guns by Manuel Jose. <laughs>
young man has. So I hope you understand. I hope you enjoy the story that goes with the little Irish girl.
history this evening of the music on our survey. I'm not sure there's a point. This one works. That one works, but maybe that one Anyway, I was just thanking you for including me in this evening with amazing music, honoring your beloved young students. Howard asked me to sing some folk songs, a couple of folk songs, and we decided on this little repertoire. The first one is uh, by Manos Hatmanakis, um, and it's. You still can't hear Okay, okay. There we go. That's good? Yeah. Okay, so the first one, this first folk song is by Manos Hadzidakis. Uh, it's from a collection that he wrote called Fifteen Vespers. And it's called Ipetra, which means stone. And it seems to be about when the soul gets lost. And Rafael, the Kennedy, Let's go. 
was uh, 16th century sort of Christian and Spanish. Uh, knights are made for love. Yeah. 
just saw the music about four minutes ago. <laughs> Rocky because you lost 110 pounds in two and a half years. He looks wonderful. He sounds wonderful. Yeah, the question I always get is, how did you do that? And what about your voice? So, <laughs> I don't know, it's okay. It's great. We are going to make, uh, I'm going to ask you to rise. And it's a Jewish prayer for those who have passed. And we want to remember, I want to remember, uh, and Doris. I got Jenna Doris, the son and the daughter of Shlom. And uh, I'm just going to improvise this. Uh, that's what we do as cantors. It says, Compassionate source of all that is, who is present in the heavens, take our loved one under your holy, pure, and glorious wings that shine like the sky as we provide charity in the name of the soul of our loved one. Compassionate one, provide rest for the soul of our loved one in Ghana and Eden. And never withdraw your protective wings and take this soul into the bond of life. God is now her everlasting inheritance and peaceful rest. And we all say Amen. Amen. <laughs>
instrument his freshman year flute. I just, <laughs> 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 roommate played flute. So he, 